Croatian officials are trying to salvage the tourist season after the country was removed from the UK's coronavirus quarantine exemption list last week. Removal from the safe list means that anyone arriving in the UK from Croatia will now have to quarantine themselves for 14 days. This after a recent spike in cases in Croatia, the country has more than 8,300 cases, according to numbers from John Hopkins University. Joining me live now is the mayor of Dubrovnik in Croatia, Mato Frankovic. Mato, thank you so much for being with us. So just explain to us to start with how important British travellers are for the Dubrovnik local economy. I can tell you that uh, now for more than a decade, uh, British uh, citizens were number one citizen, number one tourists that actually uh, were coming to Dubrovnik. So they are very, very important. Uh, they are holding uh, most of the times uh, around 60% uh, of total uh, numbers. So uh, this is how important uh, they are for us. Uh, and luckily, even uh, we are now in a red zone, I can tell you that uh, in the last uh, two days, uh, we have new 1,000 arrival of British citizens to Dubrovnik. Even though, uh, knowing that they are going to be in quarantine for 14 days, they are still coming to Dubrovnik. Uh, I assume, of course, that uh, this uh, the main reason, of course, is beauty of Dubrovnik. But uh, once again, I want to repeat that Dubrovnik is a COVID safe city, very low uh, COVID positive uh, persons are in Dubrovnik and uh, mainly those people that are positive, uh, they are coming from the outside areas of uh, Croatia or neighbor, uh, neighboring countries. So you're saying that, you know, Dubrovnik, in your opinion, is very safe. You're also saying that British travelers make up 60% of total tourists. So have Croatian officials tried to appeal to the British government to reverse their decision or at least, at the very least, show some transparency in their thought process? So what we are doing right now, uh, tomorrow we are, uh, Croatian government, uh, jointly of course with uh, me as the mayor of Dubrovnik, uh, we are sending a letter to UK officials uh, in asking uh, to give us uh, two uh, choices. One is uh, quarantine and the another one is a COVID test. Uh, we are ready uh, to pay a COVID test for all UK travellers that are coming to Dubrovnik. On their leave, of course, from the Dubrovnik area, we are ready to pay it. So if their COVID test uh, shows that they are negative, there is absolutely no need uh, for them to go into quarantine. So this is what we are going to offer uh, to UK government uh, tomorrow. And uh, we do hope that they will understand that and that they will be open to Dubrovnik. Uh, so we are not speaking about all Croatia. We want to uh, look at things uh, regionally. And um, there are some problems really in uh, mid Dalmatia uh, and in the North Croatia, uh, but there are no problems uh, co considering coronavirus here in Dubrovnik areas. And we are really uh, keeping control under coron coronavirus from March up to now. But that's part of the issue. I mean, even if Dubrovnik is slightly safer than the rest of Croatia, um, the British government can't guarantee that British tourists aren't going to leave Dubrovnik and travel elsewhere in the country, then get infected and then travel back to the UK. So isn't that part of the okay. problem? That's it. That is easier to solve because, as you know, we are uh, part of Croatia that still has a border. And if you need to go to other part of Croatia, you need to cross the Bosnia and Herzegovina. So uh, whoever uh, who, uh, British citizens uh, pass that border, we immediately uh, recognize uh, that person and that person needs to go in quarantine. So this is what we are offering. For those that are going to stay within this area, within this parameter, uh, uh, can we can have uh, the COVID uh, test and then they can uh, freely go within the UK. Uh, th those others that want to go in the other part of Croatia, they had to go in quarantine. So it's very, very easy to control it from uh, the side of the Republic of Croatia. And what sort of impact are you already seeing in terms of cancellations, flight cancellations, hotel cancellations and that sort of thing? 
Uh, we really uh, had a good bookings for the past se uh, post season uh, for the full time. Unfortunately, we have uh, really a lot of cancellations. A lot of people actually, when they heard uh, about putting uh, that Croatia is going to be within red zone, uh, they put Croatia. Uh, they c immediately cancelled uh, their vacation in uh, Croatia. So uh, we have now down numbers of uh, at least uh, 30 percent. Uh, uh, tourists in uh, Dubrovnik just within two days, and uh, more are going to come in the next week, definitely. But uh, we will not stop trying and uh, try and convince UK government to change their decision. And this is because uh, we are really a uh, uh, safe destination, and the UK citizens, when they arrive in Dubrovnik, they can really feel very, very safe. All right. Mayor Frankovic, life was there. Thank you so much.